Monday, January 11th, 2016. 11 p.m. Look at how the no life having bitch hurry up and jack the loans up. And you know the honky did it. The panel also approved a recommendation that would give the FOP a guaranteed seat on every trial board, a point that doesn't sit well with the ACLU. And it may before the case can move forward. Should be in charge of police departments. See how the no life having bitch turn up. Look at that. 5.0. I'll apple before I go to bed. On those specific recommendations made in Annapolis today. Reporting live in the studio, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News. All right, Kai, thank you. Meanwhile, the next trial in the Freddie Gray case is being delayed, at least for now. The trial against Officer C. until the court of special appeals makes a ruling. And I'm sure you know what's in my building real quick. If they just hire him, I don't even think they are pointing at my bed. Right where my head would be at, see it? See my head, boy. See it? And now at the foot. Look at that. You know the white FBI bitch driving the dark blue Mustang is the one over there turning the levels up. Yeah. Premeditated and attempted murder. See how the bitch got to turn up right where I would be sleeping at? The bitch in the gray court over there with that honky and whichever one of them bitches driving the red Mustang. FBI bitch in the dark blue Mustang with Delaware tags. His bitch ass go over there and as you can see, his bitch ass might be that supervisor who gives a fuck. And then back up towards the headboard. See it? And then the step. I'm gonna show you levels at my front door. If they that high up there, it's probably a what a 20 at my front door. The bitch has got the one at my front door turned down. Look at that.
the one point at my front door, the bitch got turned down. But upstairs, the bitch got it turned up to a almost a seven point now. Going back upstairs now. Hold up. Going back upstairs. Coming back in the middle room, as you can see. And look at this. And see how the no wife having white bitch still got it turned up in here. Premeditated attempted murder. Remember all the things you can't see in here. A university official told me 62 students faced disciplinary action last year. All those cases are related to what she called nuisance houses. There's a limit to what the university itself can do, and I think we need some more incentives for the students to uh, behave and respect the community. Marx believes the program will help keep the peace. This allows someone in the community to immediately call the police when they proactively initiate a citation. And it seems to be working in a lot of the Baltimore City neighborhoods that have a high college population. The Mark says he's working with the Landlord Association to amend the bill. That way, if a landlord is in the process of evicting someone, they won't face the penalties. Towson University is taking a neutral stance on this legislation. Reporting live from Towson, Vanessa Herring, WBAL, TV 11 News. Thank you, Vanessa. There's a new tactic to make sure people know just how much sugar they're drinking. Tonight, Boulder's... So you can get the education you need to achieve success in the automotive, diesel, motorcycle, collision repair, and marine industries. Universal Technical Institute. We're for success. Your success. Visit uti.edu. Over your lifetime, you've taken hundreds of thousands of steps, lifted countless times your body weight, not always with your knees, and overworked your muscles and joints repeatedly. Life hurts. With Tommy Copper, the original copper and zinc infused compression wear. Tommy Copper uses four directional compression to aid circulation, muscle recovery, and naturally reduce the causes of everyday muscle stiffness and soreness. Our Copper's energy fabric provides amazing comfort and odor protection all day, every day. Two out of three customers found relief, support, and comfort. vehicle and then lost control. One eastbound lane was closed for about two hours while crews worked to remove the bus. Two teens and an adult were transported to the hospital. No word on their conditions and no charges have been filed at this time. Tonight, police are urging residents in Columbia and Woodstock to be very careful when parking their cars following a string of car robberies.
are getting airbags. According to police, the thefts occurred over the weekend. All 10 of the vehicles involved had windows broken and airbags stolen. No suspects have been arrested. For those who live in the area, police suggest parking your car close to your home with your outside lights on at night. <coughs> the owner of a payroll service company, AccuPay, admitted to committing major fraud when he appeared in federal court today. Kevin Carton pleaded guilty to stealing the $2.5 million from clients that should have gone to federal and state taxes. Prosecutors say Carton and his wife Beverly kept the money themselves. Kevin Carton could face up to 20 years in prison for wire fraud. The couple will be sentenced on May 18th. Number eight, he can check it off the list pretty soon. The president getting ready for his final State of the Union address. Certainly is, and coming up, the issue expected to be the overwhelming focus from the president as he prepares to say goodbye to the White House. Plus, many are wondering just how did actor Sean Penn work out an interview with the notorious El Chapo before he was captured? And later, the end of an era, why Ringling Brothers is pulling the plug on Pachyderm performances a year and a half early. Cold temperatures are back. Some snow showers may also arrive. It's the weather plus is coming up. Is at hand. The elders will have to perform the trepanning ritual tonight to cleanse it. Oh no. And see how they know I've having bitch turned it back down. Simon, Cannon will return from his hermitage soon. The creature that just sauntered through your village is called an Unas. Yes. The time of sacrifice has been declared. I fear. Simon, listen to me. Look, we've run into this kind of thing before. Now, it's not a demon. It, 
It's demon-esque, I'll grant you, but it's just a big, ugly creature. Is it happy to buy a ghoul with a great strength and have the ability to regenerate? Yes. It's a very smart, resilient creature. In the service of Sokar, who for all intents and purposes is saying it lazy. But it's not a demon. No, it's not a demon. Boy, please speak the truth, sir. Jack O'Neill. You gave the entrance to your home? Yes. But I do not believe they mean it's harm. The tricks of Satan and his minions are many. And only those weak of faith are fooled by such deception. By granting them entrance, you have spilled the blood of your people. We come as friends,
miss us tracking north, it will still impact our area and likely produce at least a few scattered snow showers here. In the mountains, the snow showers will be heavier. Western Allegheny back into Garrett County, winter weather advises, especially tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. Locations out there could get four or five inches of snow. East of the mountains, we won't get that. In fact, ahead of the system, temperatures will warm into the mid-40s tomorrow, so sprinkles of rain or flurries in the Catoctins by about two. And then for our afternoon evening rush hour along the I-95 corridor, rain showers changing to snow showers, maybe a briefly heavier snow squall, and if that happens, during the rush hour, then things could slow down a little bit. Again, we're not talking heavy snow accumulation, just sort of an interruption in that afternoon travel, perhaps, along the I-95 corridor. Wednesday, sunshine returns, but don't let it fool you. It's going to be windy, probably the coldest air of the winter coming in for Wednesday. So, four or five inches of snow in Garrett County, a trace to maybe a dusting in some of the northern and western suburbs here by late Tuesday night into Wednesday. You'll definitely feel the cold coming in. Temperatures tonight, teens and 20s, skies turning partly cloudy. The winds tonight will be light. Ship to the southwest, push us up to 45 degrees or so tomorrow. Then the cold comes in, the rain changes to snow showers, and temperatures start falling. Small craft advisory on the bay, gusts to 25 knots, three-foot waves on the open waters of the bay tomorrow. So we go from the 40s with rain and snow shower tomorrow to sunshine, windy and cold on Wednesday, a high of just 29. 19 Thursday morning, then up to 40. And a little warmer with a chance for rain Friday night into Saturday morning. Even though Maryland needed every single second on the road on Saturday in Wisconsin, they still stick around the top five in the polls. Find out where they land. That's next in sports. to expect anything more from one of Lenny's friends. Oh, yeah, what's this? You're a freak kid. That came in the minute. Shopping Network. I, 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 Stop it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, I didn't mean it. Really, really, okay? Come on, I mean, some brothers can look at a beautiful woman and not lose their mind. I mean, I was telling the fellas just this afternoon, you do not always have to conduct yourself like dogs. I told them that. Mm. $100 back. It still ends February 7th. Call 1-800-XFINITY or go online today. Toyota is a Reader's Digest most trusted brand. Damn, up for grabs for all the latest lottery news. Hey, good. Way to make that a triple scotch. Make it a triple scotch. Hippodrome.com for tickets now. Okay, so right now... with you or without you. <laughs> How's that work? The institution of marriage is not one to enter lightly. So we pause at this time to consider the depth of that commitment. Oh, well, I offer you I said as much as I can, but he refuses to hear me. 
Where's our friend? Nesma decided he must endure the tests. What tests? Thirty minute video. I think I've made my point, but I'ma keep on documenting the levels. I'ma keep on showing them bitches, and I'ma keep on putting their cars and their tags up.